Okay, welcome to the second part in our series about implementing AI ops using the Elastic Stack. Uh, doing a quick recap. We are collecting logs, metrics, and traces from 11 microservices running in a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we have set up that in our latest video. Uh, so if you're familiar with all that, you might as well land in this video. So we know we are, we are going to, to, uh, to start actually using this data to produce value to us, right? Um, and this value, it's all about um, reducing the noise, right? We need to reduce the noise in order to extract relevant information from all this data. And we are going to see how much data this infrastructure, this fairly straightforward, kind of simple infrastructure, just 11 pods in there, 11 containers in there that are communicating with each other. We are going to see how much data this has produced in the last three days now that we have been running this. So let's check it out. So let's head over to Kibana. And you can see it in Discover. If you're following along, you will have APM, you have logs, and you have metrics. I'm showing the last seven days in here. We have 36 million documents in the last four days, actually. So four days, 36 million log lines. Um, you can actually show the front end from, uh, from the demo, which it, it will be right here. Right, this this is the site for the Open Telemetry demo. It's a e-commerce website. It allows you to show products, change quantity, add to cart, pay, you know, change currency. Yeah, change the currency. And then place order. So all those uh, all these interactions producing events, obviously, those events will be stored in here. Um, and we have uh, the messages, the messages in there. You see fetch cart, that's one message from a service. I'm just selecting one log line in there. And we have the service called um yeah product catalog service and the cart service is telling fetch cart product catalog service it's just saying product found id something and then national park foundation explorer scope yeah um so one way to do noise reduction if you if you were uh to look at those individual messages, they probably won't make a lot of sense to you. Um, but one one place in which the Elastic Stack really shines is in that in the search part. Obviously, I can make uh, free text searches. I just took an ID, product ID, in there. Uh, the search will be done. Uh, in those 36 million documents uh, and it will find obviously um, in the message and in other types of logs we are seeing here a different type of log you see it in here to JSON it's a raw message from uh, 
get quote request this is uh, quote service probably um, yeah so I have filtered the noise down 36 million to 255,000 in just a single node by the way I'm just using the bare minimum cluster I wanted to start really really small and that that's what you can do as well uh, during your trial if you want to uh, or you can install it on premise but during your trial mainly you can just create a single node and just go ahead with it uh, see what you, you can do with a, with a single node you can obviously create uh, larger clusters but uh, you can start as small as possible that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say okay so uh, that's one thing that's a classic way you don't really need machine learning to that right uh, but we do have something in here way back we do have something in here that might be novel to you even if you are uh, already a user uh, of the elastic stack for logs which is field statistics uh, in the background when I click that in the background what Elasticsearch is doing is uh, sort of aggregating the types of fields I have just two selected in there which is service name and message it's going to give me uh, a little bit of information about what different types of services I have what different types of uh, messages and all you see I, w I have 10 distinct values for service dot name I have 11 microservices maybe one of these microservices is not producing logs for instance because I have just 10 and those 10 they will show up here probably uh, the service name is calculated from okay so calculated from 35,000 sample records still should have 11 in there I'm just I just have 10 so I can see that product catalog service responds for the majority of the log messages in my infrastructure and front end 21 percent right now right out of the bat I can just filter for front end in order to focus the logs on just this part for instance just on the front end it will uh, it will filter my data set in there those are the messages from the front end they are in there from the front end it seems it not it's not really verbose right uh system because that there is there is actually a failed condition in there but that i'm going to use uh i'm going to inspect that in our third video actually which is issue detection here is just noise reduction so I'm just reducing noise in here so those are the first two things I can search on my data obviously and uh, I can do field statistics by the way search on searching on my data what I can do is that I have I have a hot tier right now all the all those log messages are arriving at hot nodes which is which are powerful nodes um, but I could have less powerful nodes even uh, uh, if I want to store the same data across those nodes so so for instance I store I will store the first seven days on hot nodes and then I will just move this data right to uh, lower tiers like warm tier or a cold tier uh, I'll have a full video dedicated to, to that uh, but my search my search experience is the same I don't need to restore anything from anywhere if I have uh, for instance a frozen tier which will store this will move those logs over to a bucket right uh, and I trigger a search that will uh, that will have this data participated in 
uh, Elasticsearch will automatically take um, those logs from a snapshot in that bucket, put back in Elasticsearch and respond to my search. And it will, it will cache that data for later. So we have a seamless search on all data tiers. All right, so um, the last thing I wanted to show regarding uh, noise reduction is the following. Let's head over to uh, machine learning here. And right here, we're going to see a section for AI ops. Let's click explain log rate spikes. And we are going to select our logs data view. Not put the last 24 hours, put the last hour. Um, I can filter this even more um, because those, those are all the logs, right? Those are the logs from our uh, Kubernetes cluster and from our services and from the OpenTelemetry demo. Um, I'll just, I'll just filter um, for maybe the errors in APM, right? Only two documents, not really. Let's see when last 24 hours. Yeah. And you'll see from all the errors that are being captured by APM, we have an interesting spike in here, 2000 errors. Let me, let me just go even further, 48 hours. Let's click that spike. And what Elastic is going to do is to explain, there are a couple errors in there. They are really, really small. But Elastic is going to explain that error spike, right? By correlating a couple field names with the errors like service language name node.js that's probably the front end the pod name right is the front end they are highly correlated so the impact is uh the impact is high this 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 impact is um whether if um the correlation to the message rate difference is high or not. I mean, in other words, uh, what is the majority of errors in here uh, related to, right? Uh, we have, have already refreshed. So uh, Kibana is, is complaining, uh, like warning me, like the, we have new data, so you might want to rerun your analysis. But, but anyway, so this is related to the front end, right? Uh, from all the errors in there, what I would I have to do in order to uh, maybe infer that this was an error that was exclusive to, uh, to Node.js, right? So from all the errors, in there, you're seeing that it's yellow, right? In there, that's the part related exclusively to um, to the front end, right? Then we have our noise reduction right there. So the second thing we can go, we can see it here um, is 
log pattern analysis. Let's click there. Again, select our logs. From the last 24, 48 hours, I have 14 million um, documents. Let me do, let me actually do the same, the same search again. And then the category field will be message. So from the messages that, um, from the messages that are uh, displayed in there, the categories, so the most, uh, what Elasticsearch is going to do here is that it, it is going to group the log messages, right? So we are seeing that it has a fail actually in the cart store. It's a different service. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's that Redis was down for a while, right? And it, we, the card service couldn't access that um, uh, the the card store. We can actually check that uh, in the service in the service map, which I believe I have not shown yet. We have the service map in here in which we can see how the services actually uh, communicate. So you go, you, go over to, you go to the observability part and then APM service map, you see in here, we have the cart service, which is a .NET service. The front end will access the cart service. Cart services will access this Redis instance in there. You can see, um, the latency and throughput of all those, those services. And it seems that at 9 a.m., like that our, our anomaly was showing at 9 a.m., there was a problem in there. And it's actually a fade transaction rate in, in 1.3% in there. Interesting. Uh, speaking of failures, we are going to, in the next video, do an issue detection. Now, uh, I'm not seeing in the APM part any um, any anomalies painted in there because I have not activated machine learning for APM in there. That's what we are going to do in the next video. Uh, yeah, hope you are enjoying it so far and see you next time.